Hmm, interesting. Oh, I didn't see you there. There's a new paper about the effects of neuter and spay on dogs' health and behavior. In March 2023, the Journal of American Veterinary Medical Association, JAVMA, published a new study. In the study, they did see a difference between spay dogs, neuter dogs, to intact dogs, and to dogs that had an ovary sparing spay. Basically, they did leave the ovaries but took away the uterus. In this channel, I talk mainly about behavior. So I'm not gonna discuss the differences on the health, but not surprising. In this study, the researchers found that the longer the dog had his gonads, either because he was not spayed or because they did what's called an ovarian sparing spay, kept the ovaries but removed a uterus, or males that had a vasectomy, kind of like in people, they left the testicles but they just made a cut in the vas deferens, the pipe that lets the semen go outside, they saw that in those dogs did have the exposure hormones, their gonads, by their testicles or by their ovaries, those dogs were less likely to have all kinds of bad behavior, either nuisance behaviors or problematic behaviors. And just so you know, problematic behaviors were defined as aggression, anxiety-based behaviors, fears. Nuisance behaviors were urine marking, mounting behavior, normal canine behavior that are objectionable to many dog owners. And by the way, I'm going to link to the paper below. Its name is Vasectomy and Ovary Sparing Spay in Dogs, Comparison of Health and Behavior Outcome with Gonadectomized and Sexually Intact Dogs by Zinc et al. So now you know, behavior issues were less likely to happen in intact dogs or dogs that still had their gonads. So does that mean that you shouldn't neuter or spay your dog? Well, not exactly. We do have a lot of conflicting data, different papers showing us different results. Most older papers actually show improvement in behavior issues when you spay or neuter your dog. But in many of the newer papers, we see just the opposite or maybe there's no difference between dogs that were neutered that spayed to dogs that are intact. And I think it's gonna take some time before we all agree or most of us agree on the right thing to do for every single dog. And why is that? I mean, we do have papers that show that not neutering or spaying actually helps the dog not have all kinds of behavior issues down the road. Now, you know I like science. You know that what I base my techniques on, the way that I help my patients, is based on scientific data. But in the same way that I critique the dog daddy, check out the link here, I also critique every single paper that I read. And I must tell you that this paper didn't really convince me. In order to get the results they presented, they used all kinds of different statistics. In my opinion, and I might be wrong because I'm not a statistician, if the researchers have to use complicated statistics, it makes me feel like maybe they didn't get the results that they wanted in the normal way. But I will say that even the writers of this paper didn't claim that this is the only truth there is. They actually said that more data needs to be collected. Another big thing that bothered me was that all the data that they collected was collected from a very specific group of people. Those people are members of a group that to begin with believe that not all dogs should be spayed or neutered, meaning that there is some bias here to begin with. If the same study was done with a different population, with a very random population of people and their dogs, and not necessarily all members of the same group, then I would trust the results more than I do from this paper. But the results of this paper also add up to many other papers that we have that show that neutering and spaying might actually cause or be associated with more behavior problems and not less. Does it mean that now I think that none of you spay or neuter your dog? Definitely not. I do think that in many cases you should neuter or spay your dog, especially depending on where you live or your specific dog and his issues. It's pretty complicated, not behavior, but in this paper they did show 
again, that there are actually all kinds of health issues that are associated with the neutered and spayed dogs and less with the, those that were exposed to the hormones from the gonads. But overall, dogs that were neutered or spayed lived longer. Think about that when you need to decide what you want to do. There are countries where neuter and spay is not the default. And those countries don't have a crazy boom of dogs that were euthanized or are stray in the streets or anything like that. Meaning that we can do differently. Also, I do believe that there are some ethical issues if you spay or neuter your dog when you don't have to. In the end, it is an elective surgery. And many people feel uncomfortable deciding if their dog should go under surgery, especially when the outcome is not that clear. So what do you think? Do you think dogs should be spay or neutered? And if yes, then why? If no, why? Write it down in the comments. Also, if you like this type of videos of me discussing different articles about behavior, let me know. Oh, and if you haven't already, and you want to see what I said about this dog daddy, check out this video.